Alrighty, hello YouTube. We are playing Breach, finally. I've been so against actually trying to play this card because every time I play combo, someone has something to say about it. Someone has to point out all my misplays, someone has to point out that they my whole family, someone has to point out that they my mom. I, like, y'all get crazy when it comes to combo decks and I'm scared. I'm scared to try it. Y'all are gonna go insane. So if you can take a second, take a chill pill, a deep breath in and out, I got a game for you. The point of the game will be to keep getting cards into the graveyard. We have stuff like Darcy to make sure this happens. We have stuff like Stitcher Supplier to make sure this happens. And then we cast Underworld Breach. And we keep casting things like Dark Ritual from the Graveyard, so we have a lot of mana. Darcy's gonna put more stuff into the graveyard until finally we have enough storm count and enough mana to play the one Tendrils of Agony and win the game. Alright, as much as I did not initially like this makeup, this makeup is very good. I meant I thought the C's first. See, lashes solve everything. Lashes literally make your makeup go from like a negative 10 to a 10. Butthole bees bring all the people to the yard. And it's just my cat. Ah, oh, except she keeps putting hair on my face. Well, I'll be able to bring one thing back at the very least. And maybe that needs to be Darcy instead of Revunglio. You need double removal spell here to do anything. Yeah. I do probably just randomly play this dark ritual.
People are so traumatized by a stifle already in this format. Honestly, I'm gonna do this. It's not the most exciting, but I don't think getting breach here and letting them hit is good. Amazing. What's it like? There's no universe you're allowed to let me hit here. It's just funny because I'm obviously not in blue, so people are still just so traumatized by Stifle. <coughs> this format's been out for... a month, maybe? I'm always doing my nose blush like this. It's so good. Meow. Yeah, as much as I love these lands, they definitely look like different things. I don't necessarily see the swamp as an island, but like I see the forest as an island. I see... <clears throat> I think one of the other ones looks a little weird too. Someone said this looks like an island. Can you whiff for once? I'm the only one whiffing. Thank you. <coughs> oh, you want to fetch? Come on, no whammies. No whammies. Your options are fetch and lose the game or let me do this. Come on. Come on. This is how you win with Breach, right? This is what I was supposed to do? Just bring back Ragavan? Can I dash from Graveyard? I, I guess I have Bowmasters too. Let me, let me read this. Oh no, because it's giving it escape. Does that still work? Like, I have Bowmaster, so it's fine. But I'm very curious. And there's roping, so. I need a breach expert in chat.
I don't think so, because it's giving it escape. I guess I would have to look at what escape reads. You may cast this card from your- Okay, you're casting it, though. And if dash is an alternate casting cost, escape is casting it. Hmm. I have no idea, honestly. I, I would believe either way. Well, okay. I'm gonna start with this then. I'm just gonna make sure I can bow masters. Um... Okay, no, it's not letting me dash. So ideally here, I would be able to keep doing this, like, forever until we get tendies, like, just Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, and we keep putting stuff in Graveyard because of this, but I am... Um, not going to do the full thing and waste all that time, but like you can picture how that works. Oh, paper straw. Boo. Boo. <laughs> no shot. Black white. Well, that's not nice. Another sad thing is I just haven't gotten to play tendies at all. I need a free mana spell. That was bad, actually. Because they're just gonna get rid of that. 
Whatever. The Ragavan was important, though. <clears throat> you just made it fly again. Exactly what I needed. Cool. That was a great value breach. Clearly we made a mistake putting the attendees in the graveyard. Um, I'm pretty sure we probably could have formulated a win there if they didn't have so much graveyard removal and we didn't put the attendees in yard right away. But imagine they don't have all that graveyard removal and we keep going off, we keep doing the thing, and then we play Tendrils of Agony and win the game. That's what the deck is trying to do at the very least. Can they use his tendrils of agony? <laughs> I don't even- what is tender shoot dryad? I've only heard tendies for tendrils of agony.
Thank you for drawing! That probably made us win that game there. Oh, yeah, that card. That card's fun. We have not played attendees once, no. <laughs> I've seen like other versions do grape shot instead, which we have in the sideboard. But the issue with that is that we don't have red mana. So like when we're dark ritualing, it makes sense to play tendies even if it's more expensive. I attack Lily, so I can't minus. I didn't care about the plus. I had a thought, Suze. Like, as long as this Lily didn't minus, it was just, like, good for us. <clears throat> the Lily was hurting them much more than it was hurting us. Wow, we have some hate for the Siege Rhino. We did it! We won!